Ooh, let's get it guys. Yo, what is up? We are going to be checking out some Darn Man videos. It's been a while since I've done one of these. I gotta do another one of these. They're hilarious, hilarious videos. So on today's uh, little roster, we got, <laughs> we got Mr. Bitches over here. Guy dates two girls at the same school. I don't know how you can pull that off, bro. Like maybe other schools, but the same school? Golly, like why, why put that kind of stress in your life? Why give yourself that kind of headache? Then we got mom puts one child over the other. I'm guessing this is going to be some tiger parent situation. Uh, obviously, like, come on now. Let's not let's not be oblivious. <laughs> and then we got foreign exchange student is picked on. You know, that happens. I hope it's not this guy. Maybe he's some African student. Calling him a, a, a bone in the nose African. That would be messed up. Have you ever got called that? I mean, you probably wouldn't have got called that if you weren't African. <laughs> it used to be so lame to be African back in the day. I swear to God. And now everyone wants to connect with their roots. Anyways, teacher kicks out mom at school. I, I, I bet more teachers wish they can do that. Parents be annoying as hell. Thinking their word is law. Like, they don't care what you got to say. Ma, pa, they don't care. Let's go, bro. No the baby. Oh, let's go. All right. <laughs> Guy dates two girls at the same school. Let's see Mr. Bitches in action. He got his ears pierced. That's how you know he up to no good. Well, if it isn't the dirty liar. Did you really think we weren't gonna find out? Damn, already? Hey, lady. You already got What's caught? with the harsh vibes? <laughs> Don't play dumb, Dallas. We know what you did this weekend. His yeah. name is Dallas. After we studied together on Friday, you went to study with Kimberly the next day. If they're named after a yeah. city, but it was different subjects. They had thought. Math and she was history. Does it make it better? I'm sorry, is it illegal to study two subjects in one weekend? Especially two. Very oh, crazy. brother. You're caught, bro. Oh Give it up. <laughs> Does this mean neither of you want to study again this weekend? This man said Isn't I'm not breaking money? character. Nick can get his free appetizers. We got, Cor uh, we got uh, Corbin Blue. What That's was that his name, about? right? <laughs> well, if I had to guess, they're upset that I'm trying to date both of them at the same time. Pretty good guess. Yeah, that seems like a pretty good reason to be upset. Pretty good guess. I'm such a player. I'm not a player. I'm just having fun. What's wrong with that? I don't know. Yo, what's up with these earrings? These are some fuckboy earrings. <laughs> it makes sense, bro, that his best friend is also on the same kind of deal. But yo, I'm just trying to have fun. Wait, what exactly did he say? Let me roast it. I'm just trying to have fun. What's wrong with that? Look, the, 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 the problem is you're trying to have fun with people's emotions, people's feelings. It may be all cool and dandy to you, but to the women, to the women, bro, like, they probably actually like you. They probably actually, you know, tell their friends about you. And now they're embarrassed because they told their friends all about you only to find out that you're dating some other girl. That's pretty embarrassing. That's why I always tell my friends, yo, unless you know you actually like this guy and, like, you've hung out with him and this and that, don't tell your friends about him because if he embarrasses you, you don't want to look stupid as hell. That's just my opinion. Back to the video. What's wrong with that? I don't know, man. Denzel, thank you so much for being a, a, a member for two months. Appreciate you. Who? Let me rewind that I'm back. Like a little weird ever since you and Liz broke up. Oh, he had his heart broken. That's why he's acting like this. Oh, right, Alyssa. You remember her? This has nothing to do with her. Quit from Don't think about her anymore. Okay, but whatever. <laughs> you, the girl you were madly in love with, you just gonna tell me she never cried. He definitely mind. still in love with her. Come on now, we all know how this goes. Besides. She moved on, so I'm moving on too. What makes you think that? She posted this photo with a new guy. Ooh! He I know you're sick. I know you threw up this morning. <laughs> oh, this man puked this morning. Oh. <laughs> Look, I tried the whole nice guy thing. Oh my gosh. I know exactly what face he's heart. in. He's so, in <laughs> I'm playing the field from now on. No strings attached. He's wait, in his wait, villain. Wait, he's in his villain arc right, right now. Alyssa, but you still follow her on Instagram? What's with all the questions? Are you writing a book about my life? No, okay, okay, fine, fine. I'll, I'll drop the subject. He already found his next victim. Speaking of subjects, look at that. Look at this. The next one I'd like to study. Oh, don't do that. Please, not ever again. Hey, Sarah. First of all, it's like that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Nothing new. This was open and free on Saturday so we could grab a bite to eat. Is she going to fall for it? Anything? Yeah, could be fun. 
We can go to Ivani's, then maybe go out for some ice cream after. Oh, that voice is so cute. She's falling for it. Come on. You know, I'd love to go out with you, but I mm. still have this rumor. See, words already getting around, bro. You messed yeah. up. Word around school is you're kind of a player. Girls like players, yeah. though. Use it to your benefit. That's ridiculous. I'm like the sweetest guy ever. Are you sure about that? I mean, was I even the first girl you asked to hang out with this weekend? Of course. Pretty much. Hey, 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 hey. I know you think this is all over him, all over for him, but like, bro, if I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, nobody wants somebody that nobody wants. Let me, let me repeat that. Nobody wants somebody that nobody wants. Meaning, if you are somebody who attracts a lot of attention, don't think that the girl's not gonna like you because you're a quote unquote player that you talk to a lot of people. No, no, no. It probably is just gonna make them a little salty, a little jealous. It's human, it's just human mentality, bro, that we want something that people want. Nobody wants somebody that nobody wants. Everybody wants to show off their significant other like they're some sort of prize. So him being a player isn't like the end of the world. However, I don't know, man. You're going to have to play this a little smarter. You can't just go going around spitting game at every girl because women talk, rumors get around, and eventually they're just going to know every single play in your playbook and it's no longer going to work. So play smart, my homeboy. Technically. Thought so. Bye, Dallas. Wait, that was a bad answer. You don't get a do-over. <laughs> Boy. You just say Prince of Persia, you can't rewind time. Ain't no do-overs. That's like three strikes. You're out. <laughs> There's plenty of fish in the sea. Just gotta move on to the next one. Facts, B. Plenty of fish in the sea. You keep playing But not games. all fish are like her, her though. <laughs> so, we'll just have to switch to a different school. You're not thinking long-term. Man, it would have been cool if Sarah was down. She's so Apparently, cute. boys put chapstick I can find with their finger on that. That's weird. Saturday. Okay. Are you ever think about just being single for a little while? What do you think he's doing right now? Take some time. Work on yourself. <laughs> oh, he's working on something. <laughs> Dang, it sounds so lame. I'm a good looking guy. I shouldn't have to spend my weekends alone. That's a fallacy, but okay. <laughs> I understand where he's coming from. He thinks the world revolves around him. Oh, I think her name's Olivia. We all did when we were teenagers. That's perfect. She probably hasn't. Perlos loves dogs. Thank for that she donation. Hey, Charmy, I love her videos. Well, I love you. Too. Man, you really got me careful. You don't want to ruin your reputation. Or even more. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's kind of past the point of no return. And one day, just play the you role. Meet a girl that you really like, but she's not gonna want to date you because of your track record. Facts. No and printers. It's karma. Are you a teacher? Because it sounds like you're giving me a lecture. Yeah, but I'm just saying, man. Save it for somebody else. I'll be right back. Hey, confidence is key, man. He seems like he has plenty of confidence. What kind hey, of sandwich is she eating? I don't think we've met. I'm Dallas. She eating a lettuce sandwich. Olivia, I just started going here. Where's the meat? So Where's the meat, girl? Pause. I haven't met a lot of people yet, though. Most of the people here are boring. Don't bother getting to know them. Pause. Really? <laughs> Even you? No. No. I'm the only fun one. You should definitely get to So she's me. new to the school. I'll take enough of that. So she knows nothing about him. Actually, have you been to Giovanni's yet? It's like this little restaurant that everyone hangs out at. No, I haven't. I mean, look at this realistically, guys. Hey, relax. Hey, I said pause. I said <laughs> I said pause. That cancels it out. Look at it realistically, bro. Hookup culture is so trash. Dating is so, I'm not dating. Uh, the dating pool is so trash because a lot of the times the guy will hit you up and just say, oh, come over and watch Netflix and we can chill. They won't even take you on a date. They won't even go out in public with you. So at least, at the very least, I'm not commending him. I'm not commending him. I'm not saying he's a good person. I'm just saying at least he's taking them on dates. You know, the bar is set very low. <laughs> I, I know this. But at least he's taking them on dates and not just saying, hey, you trying to come over and watch some Netflix and we can chill and all that? Because, oh my goodness, that is every single guy's go-to. Or, <laughs> you trying to come over <laughs> and we can, you know, <laughs> that's their other go-to. Such trash. Such trash. <laughs> well, 
if you're free this weekend, I can totally take you. Yeah? I am busy Sunday. Gage, thank you for that donation. Does Saturday work for you? I think you should call Saturday these videos Dar Man Day. <laughs> all right, all right. Dar right. Man Day, that sounds fun. Cool if I get your IG so I can DM you? Oh. I'll put it in. Well, you seem to ask for the Snapchat. The Snapchat is is a, is a, is a F boy app. Message me with the deets after school. I will for sure. It was nice meeting you, Olivia. It was nice meeting you too. Ladies, if the guy only contacts you on Snapchat, he's cheating. <laughs> that, my friend. So it's done. I'm giving y'all free game, ladies. Man, she's so gorgeous. I hit the jackpot. Hey, Dallas. Oh, you feeling him now? Hey, Sarah. What's up? What happened, Sarah? Are you so, feeling him? I was thinking about it. Oh, wow. I thought, maybe I should give you a chance. Oh, okay. <laughs> now you want to give him a chance. What? <laughs> you seem like a really good guy. I don't normally listen to rumors. I'd rather see for myself. So, yeah, I'm totally down to get food with you on Saturday. But you listened to the rumor just five minutes ago. You left my boy hanging. Let me stop saying my boy because I'm not in his corner. I'm not <laughs> defending what he's doing. I think what he's doing is terrible. It's wrong. You shouldn't play with people's emotions because you are playing with people's emotions. Girl, but like, stick, stick, stick to your words. You just said you wasn't trying to go out with him. You just heard, said you heard he was a player. Then stick to that. Don't go flipping sides. What? You saw him talking to that girl. You got a little jealous. That's probably what happened. She saw him talking to the new girl. And she was like, damn, that could have been me. Ow. That's probably what happened low key. <laughs> Salo Exion, thank you for that donation. Prince, do a second and react to the Discord live. I got you, bro. And Rocky is cool. Thank you so much for being a member. You just joined, got your little starter pack. Thank you so much. Saturday. At oh, the same time. Great. As the other girl. Yeah. If you still want to. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking. How are you gonna pull this off? Does Sunday work for you? Of course it doesn't. She has church. She goes to church. You already asked another oh, girl. She You're knows. such a player. No, no, I I'm still free on Saturday. Let's do Saturday. Not a problem. All right. Why are you assuming? She said I knew it. Time you wanna hang out. You didn't know nothing. <laughs> yeah. But she yeah. was right though. <laughs> I'll text you. Oh my gosh, this man is horrible. That makes things a lot more complicated. You are, uh, you are sin spawn. You gotta cancel one of them. Demon child. Oh, you better go on two dates in one day. You're right. Stranger things have happened. That's all I'm gonna say. Unless. Official, yeah. you better relax with that message. He said, my ball's itchy, daddy. Why do you need to tell me this? Do you have to go or something? You keep checking the time. No, no, I'm good. I'm sorry again for being late. I just can't believe my dog got sick like that. No worries. I'm just glad Mr. Biscuit's okay. Mr. Biscuit's. Yeah, I mean, he's just never had indigestion before, so he's just kind of freaking out. Oh, you're such a newbie. <laughs> I don't blame you. Sounds scary. This guy is such a newbie, bruh. <laughs> you're such a newbie. You're on a date with another girl and your phone is ringing. First of all, at least turn it on vibration. Second of all, have you not heard of something called Do Not Disturb? Well, I'm over here giving out free game to everybody. Put some money in the offering plate, man. Y'all tuned into the sermon, but you ain't you ain't doing your types and offering? Come on now. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I'm gonna go use the restroom real quick, but I'll be right back. What do girls good. do in the bathroom? I won't go anywhere. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they just take pictures and talk to their homegirls. Oh, he so, works here. Okay. How's it going? Not good. Mr. Biscuits ruined the whole thing. You got home field I'm advantage. Mr. Biscuit. <laughs> I made sure I had plenty of time between each girl. But then, Sarah's dog got sick and she had to oh. take me to the vet last minute, which pushed our date back. So they're gonna overlap? Now, ah. Olivia texted me saying she's coming early. So my window is closing. Uh, I'm just glad I'm here to see you. <laughs> he said, I'm glad I got some front row seats. <laughs> I'm still fine. All I gotta do is wrap things up with Sarah as soon as possible before Olivia gets here. Always wrap up, kids. Uh, you may want to hurry that, because Olivia just got- Oh, here. you're done for. You're not MacGyver. You cannot pull this off. You're not James Bond. <laughs> Maybe it's not too late for you. <laughs> Shit, you ain't even Flavor Flav. You're not even Flavor Flav. You're not pulling this off. <laughs> not out of the game yet. 
You gotta love the confidence, though. But he's definitely out the game, bro. I'm so glad you could make it. This ain't. Hi. Sorry, I was early. I thought that's there was what you were to a date. Traffic. It's not a problem at all. I live right around the corner. Just I guess if you're attractive, so you can dress anyhow. That's cool. I can go ahead and see these two new friends of mine. Did you guys like this table right here? Actually, can we get this booth over here? No problem. I'll go ahead and seat you right now. Follow me. Hey, at least this friend, he, this friend is helping him out, but he's also not helping him out, if that makes sense. Like... He's not trying to get him caught, but he's also not, you know, really trying to go out of his way. Go ahead and take a look at the menu. I actually forgot to pay my parking meter. I'll be right back. Oh. Okay. There is no way you're pulling this off, my guy. Like, no. <laughs> you're gonna get busted. You should have just rescheduled. She's talking about there ain't no parking meters outside. So, where were we? Were you just back in the kitchen? <laughs> um, yeah. I was. Uh, Leon, thank you for that donation. Not to be to rude, but it's pronounced Solox Soloxion. Okay, okay. Soloxion. Mm. Oh, good. Oh, he's trying to speed up the date. Bro, she's going to mm. suspect something's no. going on, man. No, she's not that dumb. Girls know way more than they let on. Trust me. Way more than they let on. Are you way, way more. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Women are smarter than men. I hope y'all know that. <laughs> it doesn't even matter if this all goes well. You're not getting the right. second day so after this performance. Everything good? Really good. Yeah. We're actually done. Is he drinking horchata? Oh, yeah. Too bad you didn't leave any room for dessert. You know what? Dessert sounds great. What do you have? Ah, oh, damn it. Well, we have our famous <laughs> chocolate cake, delicious pistachio ice cream. Oh my gosh, bro. Just the ice cream. Mm, what a shame. I wanted the ice cream. Guess we'll have to come back another time for it then. Actually, chocolate cake sounds yummy. I love some. I guess we'll take the cake. Yeah, that's a great choice. I feel like I'm she knows on some ice. level. Why are you stalling, girl? She knows. She knows, she knows, she now knows. Now I gotta use the restroom. I'll be right back. Okay. See you soon then. Oh no, that's a candle. I said that's horchata. Oh my gosh. <sighs> bro, look at this. Like, I know my head, my face cam is blocking it, but bro, y'all see my mouse? She's literally right here. This is her, these are her cakes. These are her cakes right here. And this is the girl, the second girl he's on a date on. All she literally has to do is turn around, you know, scratch her neck, something, and he is busted. I don't know who this guy thinks he is, but this is not going to end in your favor. You should have just rescheduled it with the new girl. She wouldn't have been mad with you. You're probably the first guy that talked to her. She's going to be okay with it. She's at a new school. She can't afford to be the, the, the bitch who just uh, moved into the town. She's going to be nice. You should have rescheduled it. Come on, man. Come on, man. Man, sorry about that dumb parking meter. This guy has confidence, I but you said he, walked here. he doesn't have much brains. Usually I do, but this time I decided to drive. Didn't want to be late for our first. And then day. you're gonna stumble over your first lives. Day. So you hope to have more then? Yeah, second one would be awesome, and I'll definitely plan it better. Is there something wrong with this one? <laughs> no, it's perfect. <laughs> So what's good here? You. Not the spaghetti. It's kind of dry. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> so, anyway, how do you think your dog got indigestion? Wrong girl. Uh, Wrong bitch. <laughs> we love saying that. <laughs> so, I meant to say my dog. He, he got indigestion. You have a dog? What's his name? See, now you're going to have to go and get a dog. Mr. Biscuit. Oh, my gosh. I had to take him to the vet. It was scary. Is he gonna be okay? I think he's gonna pull through. <laughs> do you have any photos? I didn't see any of How long today. do you think it's gonna take for um, them <laughs> to, to find out about each wow. other? You spied on my Instagram. Account. I say three more minutes. Shoot. <laughs> Busted. I did. It's okay. Hey, everybody creeps on uh, social media. If you're, you know, you meet somebody and you start talking to them for the first time, you're going to creep. So if you meet a girl and she has her social media, even if she doesn't have it, women can find it. 
They are the best investigators in the world. They're better than the FBI. When they really want to find something out, they can find something out, I swear to God. Because they have their whole posse. They have their friends on the case. They have their friend's friend on the case, bro. They will find out what they need to find out. So yeah, never underestimate the willpower of women, bro. It's insane. I might have in a good way, too. depending how you look at it. Great. Nick forgot to pour us water. Bro, my girl downstairs right now, she's probably like, what the hell is he talking about? I'll be right back. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so leaving. <laughs> she probably think this I'm a douchebag now. <laughs> I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. You gotta help me out. I'm staying out of this, man. You know how hard this is to just watch you play games with these girls? Facts. I feel bad enough already. You see, this friend has a heart, man. He understands. Rat ran out of the kitchen or something? No, no, <laughs> he's just kidding. He's, he's kidding. She's a rat? I didn't know I was in Come Paris. On, we don't have a rat here. Paris is dirty. Down. Give us a bad view. <laughs> I'm sorry for pausing so much, but I came back from a trip from Paris, man. They say it's the city of love, the city of this, that. It's the city of rats. It's the city of everybody smoking cigarettes. It's the city of everybody wants to hate on American people. Don't go to Paris, man. Sorry for all my French subscribers out there, but... America rules. <laughs> right. Some friend you are. Not Art the Green said Naples and Italy is better. There you go. <laughs> I believe it too, and I've never even been when did there. You order this. Wait, why are we having dessert first? Wrong girl. You messed up again. Oh, man, I meant to grab water, not cake. I always mix those two up. You're not even good at this. Yeah. How do you expect Let to be a player if you oh, can't even? No, it's okay. It actually looks really you good. You can't even juggle two girls. Mm, that's, that's really delicious. This is beginner work, bro. Glad you like it. I'll go grab us some water to wash that down. I swear to God, she's probably listening downstairs like, what the hell is he talking about? Who am I, who am I talking to? These are just jokes, honey. You'll hey. be fine. Take a while. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, men's rest <laughs> is always jokes. a long line. Really? <laughs> You'd be surprised. But anyway, I had a great time. Are you ready to get going? We haven't had our cake yet. Where's Nick? Damn, girl, you want that cake badly. Have you seen Dallas? Oh, is he gonna lie for you? Yep, that's all it takes to turn around. That's literally all it takes. Oh, you're big busted. Ah! I just saw a huge rat run out of the kitchen. Oh my no, God. No. No, wait, 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 wait a minute. That's, no, that's not true. That's not what I meant. Okay, true. now we the friend have, has no reason to defend that. you, bro. But we don't have. No. You just ruined his place of business. You cost him a bag. You did not have to do that. You didn't have to mention desserts. Yeah, bro, I'm not on your side, white boy. You are so messed up for that. You cost your friend the bag, man. You cost your friend the bag for some women. Hey, man. You're an awful you friend. Back all weekend. Hell no. Nah. I could you not kick it with you anymore. Stutton pool. Sorry about that. You cost him the bag, bro. Is this worth? Girls never caught on. Weren't they waiting for you outside? Texted Sarah and told her I'm allergic to rats and I had to go home. She bought it and left. How do you find out you're allergic else? to rats? Worked like a charm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I can't believe you guys. How does one find that out? <laughs> Best part is. I already got second dates lined up with both of them. Oh my god! This time I made sure to schedule them on separate weekends. Do you not get tired of this? What happened to you? What happened to the real Dallas? Alyssa. The one who was a sweet, caring guy. Alyssa broke him, man. Don't you get it? That Dallas doesn't exist anymore. Not since <laughs> Alyssa broke my heart. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Nothing annoys me more than the whole she broke my heart, therefore, I'm gonna break a hundred people's hearts. And it, goes, it works both ways. Girl gets her heart broken by a guy, she breaks a hundred. What sense does that make? The new people that you're talking to have not broken your heart. Just that one person in your past. You need to learn to let stuff go. You need to learn to let go and move on and be happy because just because that one person in the past did you dirty, did you wrong, broke your heart, does not give you the clearance to do it to other people, bro. What? Like, it never makes sense to me. They always use that excuse. And he said, the real Dallas isn't here anymore. Huh? What are you, Frieza? 
You just went through a transformation? <laughs> this ain't even your final form yet? Is this what you're telling me, Dallas? It doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> Teen Extreme said no maidens. <laughs> He's maidenless. He's about to be maidenless. Pu keeping this up. Spino, thanks so much for that donation. He says, sup, Mr. Charming. I like that. Mr. Charming. I like it. Got so. Is this Alyssa? It is. Hi. Can we talk? Uh, sure. All right, what she want to talk about? She trying to get back together? How have you been, Dallas? Good. Just been, you know, working on myself. Oh, he misses it's her nice so much. Hear. What about you? You see, you see the tone change? If he, I'm being completely honest, she misses the I've D. actually been missing you a lot. Oh, I know he happy to hear that. He better start jigging. <laughs> yeah, you were like the sweetest guy I know and I just threw that away. I can't stop thinking about you. She later. said you're the sweetest guy I've known. Wait, what about that guy on your Instagram? Aren't you dating him? Who? Is that your cousin or something? Probably her cousin. That's my cousin's son. Yep. Spirit. You think I'd move on that fast? <laughs> anyone. He moved on pretty quick. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. All right. Um, there's no, okay. There's no reason to lie. I mean, there is a reason to lie in this situation. If she says she hasn't been dating anybody, can you really take that at face value? Can you really take that at face value? Realistically, would you want to know? Because we all know the stereotype where a guy can do this and that to a woman and expect her to be okay with it. But the second a girl does something like cheat once or even go out to lunch with a coworker when she has a boyfriend, you know, she's suddenly a whore and she needs to die. Men cannot handle it. They can't at all. So would you even really want to know if your ex slash potential girlfriend again went on dates when y'all were broken up? Would you really want to know? Or is that just something you don't ever need to know? Personally, I don't think I need to know. I don't need to think about it. I don't want to know their names. As long as you're not talking to anybody anymore, we cool. We good. Everything, everything popping. Like, we good. But the second you put names to it and then you tell me what y'all did and this and that, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, did you get mad? <laughs> you don't want to know. It's best not to ask. It's just best not to ask. Some things you don't need to know. I honestly can't stop thinking about you. you see how too. quickly he like, turned into I don't a simp? Be with anyone else. That's love. That's love, Can ladies. Go back to the way things were. When your man you acts just... like a simp, that's oh love. Oh my gosh, that's that's all I have. Oh, what happened? Did someone tweet about oh. him? He you got exposed. I feel like he got exposed. You gonna want to see this? Though. Hold that thought. This is karma co coming back to co catch up with you, bro. He got exposed, bro. He got exposed. Gentlemen. Public service announcement. Oh, this is 100% a dirty lying player. He hung out with both of us this weekend. Oh so, my gosh. This is so no. bitter. You did a public service announcement. How bitter do you have to be? And he just lost his chance Honestly, with Alyssa. I can explain. Just like that. You don't want any girl but me, huh? Sure doesn't look that way. It's not what it looks like. <laughs> so you didn't go on two dates in the same You probably day? should have told the truth. <laughs> so it is what it looks like. But, but I just did all that to get over you. Oh, no. Save it. You aren't who I thought you were. Ooh. I made the right decision breaking up with you. No, Alyssa, wait. Don't go. We can talk this out. <laughs> Bro, this is so bitter. They did a whole... And they gonna walk up to him? Get out of my face! Step! Get to bouncing. What the... Hey, girls. <laughs> hey, yo, they squatted up, bro. No. <laughs> they all squatted up. You're done. It's over. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> Bruh, they all got together, started a club, did a PSA and everything. You're done. You're done, man. <laughs> this is hilarious. Gage, thank you for that donation. He said, going to bed. See you on the next stream. Good night. Ain't that late yet, man? Stay up, bro. You better stay up. If you don't stay up, I can't rock with you. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. 
But no, 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 no. But like, if I ever had a situation where I find out that me and this other guy or two other guys or three other guys all went on a date with the same girl, this and that, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep my mouth shut. I'm going to keep my L's to myself. Why the hell would I ever, ever publicly service announce that this girl was playing me and three other guys? You think I want the world to know that? No. I don't care if she's able to pull it off on the next guy. It's not my duty to protect men out here. Just, just as it's not their duty to protect women. For all you know, he could have changed. Which he didn't. But I'm just saying, for all you know. I'm just saying, man. What good does it serve? It just makes you look bitter. It makes you look salty. And it makes you look like you, you care way too much about him when he didn't give two shits about you. Why give him the benefit of doing this? I don't understand it never will, but I'm not a girl. So I guess... Y'all just operate differently. Looks like I made a few new friends at the school after all. Oh, and she's friends with them? We all agree. You're done. You're trash. Ooh! Yeah, it turns out all the rumors about you were true. And now the whole school knows. Good luck trying to find another girl to date now. They just ended your whole high school career. <laughs> your whole high school career is done. <laughs> Focus on yourself and stay single for a little while. Oh my gosh. I don't think I have much of a choice anymore anyways. <laughs> Come on. So I have a dream to start a business where I take- That's actually hilarious because that is something that would actually happen in real life. It will go just like that. Maybe not the date portion. You know, most guys will not be stupid enough to schedule two dates that close together, whether or not you give yourself two hours, you would actually just cancel on the second one, bro, or cancel on the first. You wouldn't actually go on both those dates. But still, funny, funny, funny. On to the next one. So that was a guy dates two girls at the same school. <laughs> he dated more than two girls at the same school. He dated four of them. Now this one is mom puts one child over the other. This should be interesting. This should be very interesting indeed. So like I said, I'm guessing it's like a tiger parent situation. Asian hey parents. Guys, how was school? Amazing. Guess what I got? Wow, 98%. I'm so proud of you, Michelle. Thanks. Where's the other 2%? You know I'm going to hang this on the fridge <laughs> right next to all your other achievements. Oh, great. I'm gonna put my stuff down. So that's clearly the smart sister. I'm guessing uh -uh. this is the not as smart Were you sister. Are just going to walk past me without even saying hello? Sorry, mom. I'm just really tired. I'm gonna go take a nap if that's okay. Maybe if you slept at night instead of staying up wasting time, you wouldn't be so tired. Working on my art isn't wasting time. What kind of art is Wait. it though? Cause you may be wasting time. What about your, your math test? <laughs> uh, yeah. About that. She over um, here working on the NFTs. <laughs> I need to sign this. <laughs> you failed another test? It was really hard. Well, your sister just got an A plus, so it couldn't have been that hard. What's your excuse? Exactly. Why can't you be more like Michelle? Ooh. I don't know why parents Math say that, just bro. Isn't my subject. Neither is any other class in Sims. Damn, she roasting her little <laughs> No, I'm not doing that. She roasting if her, she said you don't. If you want to give $1,000 and pay for it yourself, you can do that. Otherwise, it's mine. <sighs> all right, here's the truth, bro. First of all, um, the mom is not wrong so far. She's not wrong so far. I'm pretty sure she's gonna turn crazy tiger parent in, a, in, in like a second. The only wrong thing she did was compare her two kids together. That's that's wrong. Don't ever say, why can't you ever be like so-and-so? It doesn't make sense um, because I'm not so-and-so. I'm, I'm, I'm me. Anyways, my girl, what's her name? Kimmy? Look, you failed a math test and I'm pretty sure you're in high school. This is not to sound condescending, but high school is easy. Guys, I promise you, high school is easy. It, it you know not everybody has the same intelligence level but for the most part dog if you are getting a 59 in math class in high school you 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 really should be punished 
If this was college and it was like a test mate, yeah, I'll, I'll cut you some slack, but high school is easy. High school is easy. There's no way, unless you go to a private school, like Oxford, or, um, Oxford's a college, what the fuck am I saying? <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying though. High school is pretty easy, Sucks. man. Sucks. If you so just like, apply to yourself like your sister, she gotta apply then herself. this wouldn't be happening. Just King because I don't get King. good grades like her doesn't mean I don't apply myself. I'm just passionate about other things. She, she liked making NFTs. Let me ask you something. You think your drawing is gonna pay the bills? Hey, you, you know how many broke, starving artists there out there? That she may make a dope be, uh, uh, board ape Gosh, art. Gosh, mom, I don't know why you always have to be so hard on me. Let me turn this down a bit. Kimmy, ever since your father left, I know why the father left. Been easy, you know? He wanna listen Taking to your ass. <laughs> two girls by myself. We almost have ten thousand dollars in credit card debt. Ooh! I'm not trying to be unsupportive, but I do want you to be realistic. Facts, facts. That's what I'm saying. Like you gotta be realistic. What's going on? Come on. Here? <sighs> Mom took my phone away again. And you deserve it. If you pass your next test, you can get it back. That's so fair. Instead of napping, you should be studying. That's one hundred percent fair, guys. Like if you pass your next test, you can get it back. Now. Tell me what you want me to make for dinner tonight. Look how that that, you want. that mood change. All right. <laughs> how will we all go out tonight? She got so it's happy seeing the better. seeing the other I mean, daughter. You and I, Kimmy's gotta stay home and study. Nah, Kimmy, you really do gotta stay home and study. You got a fifty nine on your math test. You can't just be doing that. Talking about art, this art, that. Like. There are a lot of broke, starving artists, man. There are a lot. Thought it was mom. How's studying going? Uh, it's going horribly. <laughs> I got you chicken parmesan, your favorite. Such a nice sister. This? this is Such amazing. a sweet, sweet sister. Thanks. I wish mom felt that way. Hey. Alicia, thank you so much you. for that subscription. Come out one day. I doubt it. Oh, check this out. She made another board ape. Oh my goodness, you okay. drew this? Is yeah. that Sailor Moon? I've got a handful of others too. Oh, I'm here comes the mom. Tomorrow and here tomorrow. comes the mom. I don't about those, but I don't quite know what they are, but I'm sure it'll do great. Thanks, I'm so excited. Wait, did she really those say NFT? A handful of others too. I'm launching my first NFT tomorrow and selling it online. <laughs> what did I say? She's over here making NFTs. Now that I know she's making NFTs, knowing this is a Dark Man video, it was gonna be like, so you see, I created an NFT and it sold for two million, like some bullshit like that. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen now. She's making NFTs, I knew it, man, I knew it, bro. That's the only way, <laughs> that was the only way I was gonna think her art would have made something of herself as, in such a, you know, fast pace. Unless she's damn Virgil Abloh, however, however the hell you pronounce his name. R.I.P. Virgil. Are, I'm sure it'll do great. Thanks, I'm so excited. So she's making NFTs. Ugh. Super Junior, thanks so much for that donation. No, Yo, Prince, I'm back. Miss giving you donuts. Yeah, I asked Love you. Love you, bro. Mm -hmm. I was studying right before she walked in. No, you were not. And by studying, you mean making your silly little drawings yep. inside of your book. Mm hmm. You haven't even taken a single note? Oh! How are your grades ever gonna improve if this is all you do? Please, I don't need another lecture. I should have done this a long time ago. You gotta kill her? I'm taking your laptop. Oh, okay, never what? mind. <laughs> no, <laughs> Same thing. I need that. For what? <laughs> Teenagers what can't live you, without you electronics. You need it for school. <laughs> Clearly all you do is waste time on it. That's not true, I do use it for school. You can have your laptop and your phone back after your grades improve. She's gonna snatch your hairline you next. I'm selling my you have it back. tomorrow. I need that back. I don't understand where I what went. The hell? Michelle does everything perfectly and you are just a constant screw you, up. You can't say that. Yeah, you can't it's say the that. Truth. You can't say that. You cannot say that. Get out of my room. I wanna be alone. One day when you're older, you'll say, Mom, you are right. Please get out. Mom, you cannot say that to your daughter. Hey, I just want to be alone right now, please. She got no laptop, no phone, no maidens. Damn. I'm just worried if she doesn't get her grades up that she may not graduate. I know, trust me, I know. 
I took away her cell phone and a laptop. I'm doing everything I can to make sure she studies. I don't know why you're talking about me as if I'm not sitting right here. Because clearly, like, you're a whole ass child. Yo, I am clearly seeing that this woman just wants the best for her daughter. She may not be going at it the best way. Not at all. Like, you don't say that to your kid. You're a constant screw up. Why can't you be more like your sister? You don't say that. I do not agree with her the way she's going about it. However, taking away your phone, your laptop, because you keep making doodles, you keep making NFTs, instead of studying, baby girl, you can do both. You can make your NFTs and you can pass high school. This isn't college we're talking about. We're talking about high school. Come on, you can, you can graduate from high school and still do your art. I promise you, it's not the end of the world. So I'm on the mom side. The title of this video is mom puts one child over the other. <laughs> it should be comma, but isn't wrong for doing that. Cause like, damn, you don't seem to know how the way the world works. Not everybody can create an NFT and make millions of dollars. So how about you graduate high school and you can do your NFTs on the side? It's not that hard, I, I promise you. Well, go ahead and speak up then. Why aren't you passing, huh? This is- Jimmy, <laughs> we're a college prep school. The last time we had a student who didn't graduate was three years ago. Oh, they finna kick you out for you I can't graduate. I want you to be the next one. I'm just not very good at school. Well, neither was I, I but you're getting an A and come on, you can, that's great. You can study and, and pay you attention to do that in other classes. Do you mind giving your mother and I a moment? Like they gonna put you in remedial classes at this point. Cause you, she probably have ADD or ADHD or something Normally like that. Normally in these situations, we'd look to see if there was an issue at home. But Michelle's grades are outstanding, so it can't be that. Yeah, don't exactly. come. Yeah, don't come from the mom. I wish Kimmy could be more <laughs> like her sister. I'm not sure if you heard, but there's a good chance Michelle will end up being the valedictorian. Ooh. She brings great honor to this school. He That's said honor. <laughs> she makes me so proud. All right. Well, hopefully you'll be able to get through to Kimmy. Thanks for coming in. Of course, and thank you for your patience. Have a nice day. Damn, this mom is so polite to everyone but her daughter. <laughs> we'll keep up the amazing work. Thanks. Hi. Hold on. Who's she? Who's she? <laughs> okay, stop. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I don't know who she is. I don't know who she be. I don't know where she at. I don't know nobody. <laughs> I don't believe we met. I'm the new art teacher. Uh, you must be Kimmy's mom. Yes. I, kinda, I, I like well, art all of a sudden. I can't say I've ever met someone as young and talented as Kimmy before. Yeah, well, I wish we could say that about all our classes, not just the art. Ah, uh, is she not doing as well in other classes? I'm sorry to hear that. Y'all are saying underage. Did y'all just hear her? She's the new art teacher, you dimwit. So they gonna hire a 17 year old to be an art teacher at a high school, right? Cause that makes sense. She's easily 20 something, 30. Use your brain. Stop trying to call, get the FBI on my ass. <laughs> I'm clearly talking about her. Come on now. She's a teacher. That Don't be an don't idiot. Don't be too hard on her. Oh, I gotta rewind Just this Just the art. <laughs> Is she not doing as well in other classes? <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Don't be too hard on her. Why not? I was thinking I need to be harder. Situations like this always remind me of my favorite quote by Albert Einstein. Well, Albert he said, if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. Mm. I love that. I'll see you in class tomorrow. It was nice meeting you. I bet that's dumb people's uh, favorite quote to defend why they're dumb. Did, did you hear what she said? <laughs> Nonsense. Just like when they say she Albert knows. Einstein failed math teacher. in high school. Hey, no, he Jimmy. did not. <laughs> he Are did you not. still launching your NFT today? Uh, I don't if know. so, you should totally list your artwork on OpenSea. No way. It's way too hard to get approved on that site. You should try Rarible. Mm -hmm. I love how Darme expects me to believe that teenage girls give two shits about nft and or know what an nft is <laughs> they're ever talking about open see this oh no it's too hard to get approved 
you reading straight off of a script. You don't know what the hell you talking about. <laughs> they could though. They could though. Let me not uh, assume. Let me not assume. List your artwork on OpenSea. <laughs> no way. It's way too hard to get approved on that site. You should try Rarible. I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. <laughs> she needs to focus on her classes. She really does though. Okay. But she can still drop the NFT. Mom, I, I don't want you wasting any more time. She can do I'm both. serious. I'm not going to have you embarrassing me and this school by mm. not graduating. Kingston, thank you for that $10 donation, home. bro. Big money. What's good, my boy? What's good with you? No, but they probably could know. I'm just assuming. I don't talk to you, Mom. Leave me alone. Star Wars, thank you for subscribing. It's me. I like her shirt. You all right? I want that shirt. I mean, no. I was supposed to launch my art project today, but now I can't because I don't have Here. a lot. He's <gasps> mine. Oh my all gosh, you're the sweetest sister ever. Yeah. I'm about to cry. Well then, what are you waiting for? Oh, it says Purito. Then I don't want that shirt no more. Good luck. Uh, here comes Darman into an NFT and listing it in an online auction. She starts the bidding process at half an Ethereum. Yo, NFTs are After such a wild concept. Refreshing man. <laughs> the next morning, did it sell? She comes to realize that not a single person bid on her artwork. Thank you for making it realistic. She starts to feel <laughs> really disappointed because that's how it normally goes. People think you create an NFT and become a millionaire. As goes on, nothing changes. Thank you for being realistic, Darman. Not a single person wanted to buy it. And that's how it usually goes. Kimmy starts to feel really discouraged. I hope you've been studying, Kimmy. Over time, she even considers giving up on her passion. Hey, thank you so much for subscribing. Some say how you market your art is just as important as the art itself. Take people for instance. Don't tell me that teacher ain't bad, y'all. Best artist, Look at that. or just the best marketer. For sure, the best marketer. She looks like she'll she'll lecture me through it. It's unbelievable. In a, in a how hot much way, the art industry changed. <laughs> I need to stop. <laughs> These are just jokes, guys. Come on. I hope you know. <laughs> lecture me through it. What the hell is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? This is why I'm not at a million subscribers yet. Because I, I I say stupid things like this. Keyson, thank you so much for another donation, big $10. He said, I'm trying to give you gas money for three hours. <laughs> Ever since he sold his digital art for $69 million. Filthy. Many artists like him are starting to catch big breaks. $69 million. <laughs> Golly. What's that, Kimmy? Is that true? Uh, <laughs> nothing. I heard you listed some art online. How'd your launch go? You trying to buy it? Not great. I'm sorry to hear that. Hang in there. All great things take time. To be honest, I'm not so sure how much more time I should be spending on this. You can study I mean, in the meantime. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Some people make it big, but do you know how many broke, starving artists are out there? 99%, 99%. That can pretty much be said about any field. Nah. Where's all this coming from? I don't think there's starving doctors out there. I spent so much time <laughs> listing my first piece. Maybe and very, very few. It was a complete waste of time. What site did you put it on? NFT land? You didn't put it on OpenSea? First off, no one uses that site anymore. I'm definitely not surprised it didn't get any bids. How did you promote it? I didn't. I just posted it and thought people would bid on it. Girl, that's not how it works. You gotta hype it up. Create buzz online. How do they know how it works? Start a thread on Reddit. Hey, post let me not assume. Instagram. I have like 50 followers. That's all right. I know tons of NFT pages with big followings. If I ask them, I bet they post about it. Really? With how good your work is? For sure. If that was me and I'm, and I'm over here telling somebody that I can get a big page to post their NFT, I'm for sure writing up a contract and go and get me at least 10% of the earnings of the sale. Ain't nothing in life free. Secure that bag. Because if that picture Sells for a hundred thousand, one million, this and that. Just that little contract alone that you made them sign could be your big break as well. Don't don't give out the game for free, man. I know I was doing it a little while ago, but that's just a little bit of advice, you know. I'm not actually hooking them up. You should. You need to get your your yeah, percentage. And I can help push it on Reddit. 
one of my friends on the podcast. I can see if he'll talk about it. You do that for me? Definitely. I love your stuff. These kids be going through puberty. I swear to God, last time I saw him, he was a little goofy little kid. I mean, I guess we'll see. All right, Kimmy, I have faith in you. Kimmy is once again excited to list her art online. Let's see how much money it sells for. She meets with friends who help her list her art on a more popular NFT marketplace. Boom, OpenSea. I do know what OpenSea is. Every step of the process. And I do know what NFTs are. A few days later, she ends up doing a podcast to help promote her new launch. I do know what podcasts are. That's where men her can go to complain about women. Social <laughs> media accounts to help create buzz. Five hundred thousand? Oh, I'm Kim making her sign a contract. Which support she was getting? I'm making her sign a contract. And Super then a few days later, Super Junior, thank for that million. Uh, is about to get a big surprise. Million subscriber message. All right, let's see what the surprise is. You're not gonna believe this. Did she pass oh, her test? Don't tell me. Another ninety-eight percent. A hundred this no. time. No, 99%? Yep. I'm so proud of Ooh, you. Ooh, that 1% though. Thanks. The mom doesn't want to say it though. <laughs> she wants to yell where that 1% at. Pretty soon, we're gonna run out of room on the refrigerator. All right, Kimmy, it's time for your big news. Tell her, tell your mom how you, how you rich. You rich AF yeah. now. Please tell me you at least passed. Damn, mom. Better than last time. That's a positive. She passed. A C minus? She passed though. I, I, I thought you'd be happy. Your sister just got a 99% and you want me to be happy with your C minus. <laughs> Whatever. Can I just have my phone? Oh, now? these tiger I parents, said you man. Have to pass. A C minus is not <laughs> She said you have to pass and a C minus is not passing. Then what's passing to you? What is passing? A C is a pass. In college, a D is a pass. In college, a D is a lot of things. Pause! I didn't mean, okay. It's, oh my gosh. And this is live too. Like normally if I do that in a video, I would just cut it out. I would trim it. Oh my gosh. Keeson, thanks so much for giving me some more gas money, bro. He said, I'm trying to let you see your parents this week. Thank you so much. I couldn't see them because I couldn't drive to them and I can. Yes, it does. Anything better than a D is considered passing. Not in my eyes. Fine. Here's a thousand bucks. Oh, so make it rain. Get my phone back now? Make it rain. Where in the world did you get all this money? She got OnlyFans now, Mom. Let's just say that my little art passion. Get with the trends. Paid off. Well. I must say, I'm shocked. I want to know how much it sold for, though. Let us know, Kimmy. I'm not pocket watching. I just want to know. It was in the drawer the whole time. What was if stopping you? Spend all your money on a phone. Hmm. Be my guest, but don't think you're getting your laptop back until. And this is for my laptop. I would have to slap them all with that money, Next time bitch. You can't put stuff away again. Where my laptop at? <laughs> well, what's just this? It's another thousand. You can count it if you like. She said you can you count it. $2,000? She made a lot more than that. How much she made? Can you tell her yet? Not yet. Told me what? How much you made? There's a lot of articles about it online. Kimmy sold five art pieces for $20,000. Ooh! I don't believe this. Big Boulder brand. Possible. You can look it up if you like. But first, you should log into your credit card. She Why? paid it off. Oh, you didn't. Oh, this is the sweetest thing ever you can do as a, 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 as a daughter. You paid off my credit card? Yeah. I want to see some waterworks, Darman. I stress anymore. I better see some waterworks. Kimmy, I don't know what to say. You can say she's not a complete screw up. Come here. Whoa, whoa, Kimmy, this is your one hug a year. You sure you want to spend it now? This is your one affectionate the moment of the year. Don't go crazy now. Don't spend it all in one Hello? place. You <laughs> know, I'm the one with straight A's, but you've made more in one week than I've ever made in my lifetime. That's how it goes, bro. That ironic? The richest people, <laughs> bro, they're not necessarily the hardest about workers. Michelle being the valedictorian? You calling about Kimmy? Oh, now Kimmy no, the, the, the one to talk about. Just about to read the articles. Yes, I heard about her digital art. 
it really is amazing. Oh, she fake as hell. <laughs> You're right. She really has brought great honor to the school. Money talk! You know, you know what they say? If you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it'll live its whole life believing that it is stupid. Nice, mom. At least you can admit you. somewhat you your mistake. You know, she didn't admit her mistake, but, me, you you're know. The talk of the town. That's foreign parents. They don't I apologize. Tell you how proud I am of you. Thanks, mom. So, does this mean you support my art now? She support that money. <laughs> <laughs> she support I'm that so money. Come on now. She don't give a damn about you your know? art. <laughs> Why don't we all go out to dinner and celebrate? And you can that come this me. time. My treat. I was hoping you'd say that. Damn, yeah, mom, you that broke? I just got my credit card paid off. I'm not trying to rack up any new debt. Fair, fair, fair. <laughs> so Kimmy the big baller around here now. Okay, Kimmy. Uh, <laughs> foreign parents, man, you're never gonna get an apology out of them. The best you're gonna get is them just randomly acting nice to you. That's foreign parents for you, but I'm glad the mom is supporting Kimmy and her artwork. Really, she's supporting the fact that she's making it rain up in here. If my child came up to me and told me that they paid off my house or paid off my car, paid off my whatever, and they're not, you know, doing something nefarious like OnlyFans or something like that, I'm gonna support whatever the hell they're doing. <laughs> whatever they're doing. If they're over here selling knives, if they're over here, um, I don't know what else you can do. <laughs> Why is that the only thing I can think of? I think it's because that's a lot, a lot of college students had a job doing. Even they weren't the, were one of those annoying forex people. You know the ones that keep bugging you, talking about we have the same nine of we have the same uh, amount of hours in the day. Oh, you work a nine to five? Couldn't be me. Like those annoying people. I will accept my kid because they paid off my house. The hell? But yeah. <laughs> Now we got foreign exchange student is picked on. I'm, I'm assuming he's the foreign exchange student. I could be wrong. It could be somebody else. Now he's too black to be the foreign exchange student. See, when you come from Africa, bro, you don't have faith hey, like you, this. Uh, Want to come over and play Fortnite after you school? Got chili bowl. <laughs> I wish. My mom's making me meet some foreign exchange student who's gonna be staying with us. Ah, uh, please don't Can't tell me you're racist. It. And he's staying in my brother's room. Probably I mean, not. Jacob hasn't even gone. His friend's black. My mom is already giving his room to someone else. What? Yeah. I'm just gonna pause this real quick. It's the little things like this that some of y'all probably don't notice, but they have to make the best friend black or some sort of obvious minority. Cause you cannot have some white boy <laughs> hating off some foreign state student in a video. It's gonna come off as racist. So you have to have his friend be black or an obvious minority. When I say obvious minority, they can't be a pale Hispanic. They can't be uh, half white, half eight. No, they gotta be either black or Indian. <laughs> they gotta be dark. <laughs> let's, let's keep it honest. <laughs> What is that smell? I yeah. noticed stuff where, like this. Where is that coming from? It's all marketing. Kid, I, I think it's that kid's lunch. Is that how you smell things? I've never seen him before. Hold on. Did y'all see that him? smell. Where, where is that coming from? That, I, I think it's that kid's lunch. I've never seen him before. You smell so childish, bro. Dude, why does your Chinese food smell like that? You smell that? like a Goomba. Uh, um, actually, like, it, 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 I mean food and your Goomba, Goomba. Like Fist sauce. Fish sauce? I've never even heard of that. Fish sauce go crazy. It's, it's, it's Where amazing. Where I am from, where you listen to what? Carry it in. Fish sauce tastes That's amazing. That's disgusting. Maybe you should go back to where you're from because in America, we eat normal food like this. <laughs> it's called a sandwich. That's Ever normal food. It? Yeah. You're eating I mean, a maybe bologna you go sandwich. Grab one and throw that crap out because I don't want your fish sauce stinking up this cafeteria. You got it, fish boy? Fish boy. <laughs> Yeah, actually, this is really good if you guys want to try to see it yourself. And he's so nice. He's I'd so polite. Die, honestly. Come on. Let's go see this is so sad. Wow. I feel like I'm eating in a freaking aquarium. Andre, thank you for that donation. He said, hey, Prince, watch Waiter is Safe for Living in a Trailer. An intern is fired by me and Boss, my two favorite recent Dharma videos. Are you sure you just can't convince her to let you come over? Probably gonna have to do that in a new I stream. Could, I would. He uh, called him Fish Boy. Dude. What's your mom doing talking to that weird new kid? Jeez, I don't know, dude. She's probably giving him directions or something. I'm gonna go tell him to get lost later. All right. Damn, dude! You can't just let this man live? What is wrong with you? 
He kept, he's coming he over to hate. Today. Get your directions somewhere else. We're busy. Kyle, Fina's not asking for directions. He's the foreign exchange student I was telling you about. He came all the way from Vietnam. Vietnam. Wait, on, you're joking, right? This guy's staying in Jacob's room? No, no, he smells. Hey, that is not how we speak to our guests. You know what? This completely sucks. I hate this. Bro, you don't smell, man. I mean, you probably smell like fish. I am so sorry. <laughs> and fish don't smell good, but... He's not normally like this. It's not you who smells. It's what you ate that smells. Is that how people like in America? Loki, oh, yes. Oh, no. Gosh, no. That That is not normal. Stop behavior. lying. He's just... He's going through a tough time because his brother left for the military and they were best They're friends. De Americans definitely aren't like rude to this to extent, to you. but there are rude. Okay. Asians. Car. I'm not gonna act like I know everything about every culture, but for the most part, I do know that Asians do have this uh, polite culture. Yeah, you know, they focus on being polite to strangers. So you're not supposed to you know, ask anybody you know, too much personal questions. You're just supposed to be polite to strangers. That's how a lot of Asian cultures are. Versus America, we ain't polite to you unless you've been polite to us at least 10 times. Crazy, right? So yeah, Americans definitely are rude if you compare them to Asian cultures. Asian cultures, being polite to a stranger, helping out your neighbor is much more common. In America, we keep to ourselves, we rude as hell, and we eat cheeseburgers. <laughs> Andre Treadwell, uh, I already read that comment. And also, yo, this reminds me of a situation where I was in elementary school and there were like three Asian um, foreign exchange students, three of them. And this one wildly, wildly racist dude, bro. And he was black, crazy, right? He was black. So you would think like he would, he would shut the hell up. But this guy, and I'm not joking with you, this is about second or third grade, if I remember correctly. And his name was like Marlon, something bad as hell. He would literally go up to them at lunch while they were on their own separate table, minding their own business, mess with their food, yell at them, spit in their food right in front of their face, and then dare them to eat it for no reason. It was, it was insane to me. And like, we were kids, we were in elementary school, so ain't nobody stopped him. So it was really sad. It's three Asian people, foreign exchange. They're just probably coming here for either a better life or because it's like temporary. Just trying to eat their lunch. And this guy's over here sticking his hands in it, spitting in their food, daring them to eat it, yelling in their face. For no reason. They did nothing to this man. So he was the badass of our school. He was just a bad seed. He's probably in jail right now. Like he's probably gonna see his video via <laughs> uh <laughs> via in jail or prison or something. He would he I, I don't know. It was just it was it was insane, man. It was insane. Thanks. Like I've never seen bullying on that level and that still is the most bullying I've ever seen out of my whole, my whole 25 years of living. Like spitting in people's food mm -hmm. when they did nothing to you. I don't understand what that. The... Never would I. What is that? They're already hating. Oh, Theon taught me how to make one of his favorite dishes. Look at him smiling. I, just, I wanted him to feel more at home. What is it? Taste test? What? No, that's disgusting. Are you trying to poison me? What if it actually tastes good, though? Expand your palate. Oh, stop being so dramatic. What is it, though? Mmm, oh, this is delicious. What is it? You like it? Uh-huh. I'm glad you like it. Oh, God, there's so many more dishes I want to show you. No, no, I don't think so. You're not going to be staying here for much longer. He is going to be staying here the entire year. So get used to right? it. Right? Like, <laughs> if you're going to live with him for an entire year, you would think you would want this entire year to be at least livable. You know, he's practicing his English. Game. Don't make fun of him. Yeah. Never seen that before. What's it called? Um, it's a new game. It's called um, World Form of Work Form Adventure. You Word see? Farm Adventure? His English is good. Can you plant words? No, it's like a fun personal war game. Plus, we're gonna get to build farm, race animals. Do you know how hard it is stuff. for an American to learn Vietnamese you actually or spend money on that. Japanese or no, Chinese? Spend money on this is free. Or Mandarin, I should say. I don't um, know. Yeah, I learned a lot of English from this. So basically, you're studying before school. That's how they do it. Yes. <laughs> wow, I just want to think you'd be said, more lame. 
Yeah. Or geek. Hey! Just when no I thought you were card. warming up to him. Besides, you could learn a thing or two from Theon. I bet he gets good grades. Oh, uh, don't say that, Mom. Sure don't he compare. Does. Don't compare. He spends all his free time studying and reading books and, and playing word games. And not talking to yeah, bitches. Yeah, no thanks. I'd much rather enjoy myself. <laughs> well, at the rate you're going, you'll be enjoying summer school, too. No, Jacob's gonna be here, so I'll be hanging out with him. Was he always well, wearing AirPods? if you don't get your grades up, you won't have a choice. Hey, where are you going? You haven't had breakfast yet. I'm walking to school, and I'm not eating that crap. No, I am driving the both of you. Let his ass walk. Mom, I will not be seen getting out of the same car as some foreign exchange student, and I definitely won't be smelling like fish sauce at school. Goodbye. Kyle! I am so sorry. I have no idea what's gotten into him. That fish sauce go crazy, okay. guys. Is that your fault? Is that ready for me to get a taste? Oh, yes. He's trying, he's trying on, to get a taste of something else, low key. Tien, I know what you want. I know what you want, Tien. Great. Or Tien. Alex. Let me say your name properly. Kyle. You know, he got a bag. Oh. You didn't have to do that kind of face, lady. All that sass. Tien, you got All that the ass. highest score okay. in the class. Great job. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Give me a break. All right, class, on to the next lesson. The infinite hit you with the, the three with the roaring dragon. <laughs> He's gonna stop your breathing Go with one theme. blow. Keep um, talking shit. <laughs> psi, cosi, and tension. There you that go. Absolutely correct. And that was nice even job. hard. So <clears> don't <throat> make fun of it. It wasn't even that hard. What was that, Kyle? Good times. Thanks for that Thank donation. You. Saved by the bell. See Kyle. you guys tomorrow. Do not forget to read chapter a hard eleven. Oh, dude, Trey's just not my Tia bag. gonna read chapter 11 through 20. <laughs> hey, watch this. Damn, bro, leave him alone! Ooh, teacher's pet got a perfect score. Give oh it back. Oh my gosh! No, I was right about you. You are a total nerd. Leave him alone! <laughs> Tia, serious. go Super We're Saiyan! Serious. Unleash it! What are you gonna do if I do this? Curry. <laughs> What's your problem, man? What's your problem, man? Bro! Listen to the way this guy speaks English. I need you to unleash whatever power you're holding back. You need to stop this. Oh, yeah? Well, what are you gonna do about it, huh? Ooh, here it comes! You know my brother, he taught me a few things before he was deployed. In my classroom, now. Damn it, man! I don't want to hear it. Classroom, now. Uh, I was thinking this is like gonna be one of those anime moments where the you know main character gets that power boost because they go through that flashback. You know, Tian was gonna be thinking about his life in Vietnam. This is why I came to America for a better life. You know, maybe flashback to his dead parents. Then all of a sudden, some aura. Uh, okay, I watched too much anime. He's not even Japanese, Prince. He's Vietnamese. Stop being so racist. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry about that. Are you okay? I'm fine. Nah, this can Just really. Kyle's mom finds out about this. This can really mess you up. You gotta realize he's in a foreign country to him. You know, he has not many friends. Disappointed doesn't even begin to describe how I feel, Kyle. And you raised this boy. Sorry. You have been treating poor Theon. So awful since he got here, and now I hear you're bullying him at school too. Like, That's take a break. That's <laughs> completely unacceptable. He said no days off. I figured I'd let you know before I told the principal. He said I've you're gonna get bullied at home and at school. Before. I was quite shocked. Yeah, I don't believe it either. I don't believe it's not better. He's just it's been acting so differently since Jacob moved out of the house. I said I was sorry. Sorry doesn't cut it. So this is where it's coming from. We haven't even given him a chance since he moved in. Because his brother moved well, I just don't uh, understand why board. a foreign exchange student has to live with us in the first place. And it's not my fault he's a weirdo. That is enough. So you're not even sorry. Do you hear me? You are not sorry at all. Just because someone is from another country does not make him weird. You should never judge someone before you get to know them. Facts no printer, but you want to know the sad part about this? 
And this is for all my brothers out there. I mean brothers as in black people, not brothers as in guys. No matter where in the country we go, we can get, we can get treated like Thean. So let me break this down for you. If you watch Attack on Titan, and this is, a, this is kind of a far reach, so a lot of y'all, please feel free to uh, bring your discussion, bring your argument. But if you watch Attack on Titan, black people are essentially El Eldians. The whole world hates us. <laughs> the whole world unites to hate on us. It don't matter if you're Hispanic, you're Asian, you're white. If you're not black, you can hate black people and it's normal as hell. No one likes black people. Even the minorities hate on black people. It's like we're the bottom of the totem pole. It's like we're the Eldians. The world gangs up to hate on us. Asians don't like us. Hispanics don't like us. White people don't like us. And there's more races, but those are the main ones. Nobody likes black people. So that's just the sad part. Because TM can always go back to Vietnam and be amongst his people and feel happy and feel good. Motherfucking, even in Africa, black people hate black people. It's, just, it's, it's everywhere. It's insane. It's crazy. There is no happy end to this little tale that I'm saying. But yeah, everyone hates black people, man. It, it's, it's sad, but don't let that uh, stop you. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't stop me, bro. It does not stop me. In fact, it helps I me. I want to get to know him. I love being uh, the anomaly. Fine. I love being an anomaly, bro. And you are grounded for three months. Rich, attractive black guy. How does that sound? Running through snow bunnies. Whatever. And, and other races, you know, I don't... Okay, shut okay. the hell up, friends. <laughs> I will also be taking your tablet. Someone said, do life skins count as game, black? So hell no. No more Fortnite. Wait, yes. no, no, you can't do that. All right, let me pause real quick. Yes and no. Life skins have that very uh, gray area where they can use their white side and their black side whenever it suits them. You know, full black people, we don't have that benefit, especially if you're white passing light skin. But that's a story for another time. Let's get back to the video. Yes, I can. It's either that or you she be thinks nice she Obama. to Thean. Yes, I can I'm face sure ass. He has a lot he can teach. <laughs> you ain't Barack. You're not even Joe Biden. So what's it going to be? Yo, my chair is, is bugging, bro. <laughs> Fine. Kyle, you are you are a powder. I bet you pout your I way into a girl sure giving you some. Never happened. Please. And if you, you gave your ex some, why not me? Completely Please? understand. Goodness. It's okay. I think Kyle's going to learn his lesson. You think people named Kyle learn their lessons? I hope that as they get to know No, another, they just drink more Red Bull and Monster and punch walls. Can help Kyle with his grades too. <laughs> what did I just say? Fian got the highest score on our exam, you know. Oh, she knows. Really? You didn't need to tell her that. <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised. Sonic and Mario friends said, do you think Arabic people count as black? Kyle no. reluctantly agrees to give Thean a chance. Do you think Arabic people are black? What's wrong with you? The next day, when Kyle sees they don't Thean black people. some traditional <laughs> so why would we claim that? food, he's grossed out at first. Kyle's still on his little pissy behavior. his promise to his mom. Kyle PMSing right now. He decides to give it a chance. And you gonna like it, bro. You gonna love it. To his surprise, he ends up loving it. I know you did. Fish sauce go crazy. Back at school, when Kyle looks for a table to sit at, this time, he decides to join Thean. Not only does Kyle share his lunch with him. Thean don't want that. He's gonna eat it out of politeness. But he also pulls out his book and starts studying. See, this is what I like to see, man. People getting along. Man, hop on that PS5 Once with Kyle him. starts oh. giving Theon a chance. They're gonna study together. I mean, eat, learn English together. He realizes Theon's actually pretty cool. Man, I had an Asian friend. Oh my gosh, Asians be cool as hell, bro. I had this one Asian friend, um, it was, oh my gosh, what great, this was in college, my sophomore year of college, bro, and like, he didn't speak much English, uh, English either, and you know, um, he was, uh, all into tech and engineering and all that, he was mad cool, bro, I swear to God, 
when whenever you have those nice Asians, and a, and a lot of Asians are nice, trust me, um, they're very polite. Asians be mad cool, man. They have a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool ideas. They've done a lot of cool things. Asians be mad cool, so you got to give everybody a chance. Black people be mad cool. White people be mad cool. Middle Easterns be mad cool. Everybody can be mad cool. It doesn't, it doesn't really depend on your race. It's just, I feel like us as people, we, uh, you know, don't really want to step out of our comfort zone, you know, our little bubble. So that's why you see a lot of cases of people hanging out with the same race, because those people within your same race probably like the same things, do the same things, have the same kind of culture as you. We don't really step out of our comfort zone, our little bubble. So I'm just going to say, like, take a chance, man. Take a chance. Step out of your comfort zone. Step out of that bubble. Meet somebody new. Say what's up to somebody, bro. One of my best friends is Middle Eastern, and I would not have said a word to him if he didn't come up to me because he stepped out of his comfort zone. You know, I was some black guy wearing Jordans with his hoodie on in high school, and he was a uh, valedictorian. Why the hell would he want to talk to me? Yet he did because he stepped out of his comfort zone. And now we're still mad good friends to this day, bro. That's all it takes. That's all it takes, man. Take, give people a chance. You never know who can end up being a friend for a long time. Because do you think, do you think that I was a crazy, I mean, I was smart. I'm not going to lie to you. I was smart, but I was still like, you know, wearing Jordan's hoodie, listening to rap music when my music loud as hell. And he's a valedictorian. Middle Eastern. Do you think that sounds like a match? No, but he stepped out of his comfort zone, bro. And that's all it takes. That's all it takes. Stepping out of your comfort zone. But not many people would do that. Not many. Most people won't. So I urge you to try uh, stepping out of your comfort zone more times. Or at least at least once. I'm sure none of y'all have, some of y'all have never done it before. Because you have no idea how vast this world is. And how vast the people living in this world is. There's so many amazing people and you're just limiting yourself. I'm just speaking facts on here. Pass the offering plate. Like <laughs> <Adam Hammer around, laughs> and they have a lot of fun together. Peyton says start the damn video. <laughs> Peyton, you definitely stormed the cat. Uh, days later, the cat Kyle gets a big surprise. <laughs> hey, you want to come over to my house later? I got the new Halo. Yeah, I'm down. Peyton from the Actually, capital. <laughs> is it cool if I bring Fian? I'm joking. You gotta be kidding me. Fish boy, come on, man. He's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Did you bump your head? He's a total dork. All right, all right. It's all not right. true at all. And for the record, you should never judge someone before you get to know them. Oh, now you're holier than thou. Yeah, I, I guess so. I, I guess it's cool. Just text me when you want to come over. All right, man. See ya. Peace. Hey, what's the big smile for? Well, your teacher came by and she gave me your test results. Ooh, little pizzazz from Tien. <laughs> Thanks, but technically, I like this it's an guy. Animus. I promise I'll do better on the next one, though. Well, I have to say, I am loving this new Kyle. One year with an Asian and student, and her son is immediately better. I have better. a surprise for you. What are you what? saying, Darman? <gasps> Turn around. Oh my gosh, it's his brother! Jacob, what's up? Man, you're getting bigger, broski. This is crazy. How long are you in town? Just broski. Couple of days. I wanted to surprise you. You know That's he awesome. were Oakley's. Oh, have you met Thean? Yeah, we met earlier. He's... <laughs> he's my friend. Peyton so said, do not pause the damn video again. Don't sweat it. I'll just or what are you gonna do, Peyton? Right. What you gonna do? for it. <laughs> what you gonna do, Peyton? Just paused it. Just paused it. What you gonna do? I'm waiting. I'll wait some more. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> some things never change. Hey, do you guys want to go get some to eat? <laughs> yeah, we should go get some food. You ever had it? No, it's good. Dude, it's so good. They have this stuff called fish sauce. It is to die for. Eel sauce Sounds also good. goes hard. Let's get it, bro. I'm telling you, man. Hey, you darn need... man, bam. I... I'm telling you, man, you need to meet more, more, more people like Fian in your life. Open up your world, expand your view, bruh. Expand your view. You never know. But yeah, that was foreign exchange student. It's picked on. What happens next is shocking. Ooh. All right, we got the last video for today. We got teacher kicks out mom at school. So I guess this mom is 
doing something. She's doing something out of order. She's doing something crazy. She probably thinks she's the teacher at the school. Parents be overstepping their boundaries. They really think they can walk up in the school and tell the teachers what to do. Like they run the teachers. How about you pull your kid out of school and homeschool the kids since that's clearly what you want to do. But you don't want to do it though because you want other people to do it for you. And then complain every step of the way. All right. <laughs> Emmy? What are you Emmy, doing out here all by yourself? Emmy, how many of y'all saw the Oscars? Will Smith? Ah! Um, sweetie, are you sure they're coming? I'm guessing yeah, this is the teacher. She's just running a little late. And this is the mom running late. Okay, well, I'm just going to wait with you. Man, teachers like this be the sweetest. And this works out well because I need a parent to sign your permission slip for tomorrow's field trip. Damn, Mom! You drunk? Oh, there's my ride. Oh, you was a Hi. teen mom. I am so sorry I'm late. Things just got a little crazy. Where'd you get that, those cakes from? You know, school got out over 20 minutes ago. Relax, Prince. Poor Emmy's been sitting here waiting all by herself. That's not safe. Yeah, I know, and I, I'm so sorry. It just, I, I got off work late, and traffic was kind of hectic, but I got here as soon as This I is said. why you don't have kids when you're a teenager. Not a very good way to start off the first So you don't end up like her. If this happens again, I'll have to write it up. Sure, thank you for that I donation. I understand. When will you play Stick of Truth again? again. Y'all want me to finish it? Okay? I'll, I'll mm -hmm. tweet it out. I've been playing the game. I knew you were coming soon. And Keeson, yeah, thank you for that donation as well. Thank you. Good times with E. I thank you for that dollar. Don't think I forgot about you. Permission slip for tomorrow's aquarium visit. Oh, okay, yeah, I can sign it. This is the mom, right? This, is, yeah, this isn't the sister, it. is it? A parent needs to. This has to be the mom. Yeah, I know. I'm okay, no, Emmy's it's not. I'm legal guardian. <laughs> it's not the mom. Okay, that's not possible. What are you, 18? 19. There's no way you're her legal guardian. Actually, I'm 21. Oh, she's 21, but okay. I've been looking after Emmy for a while now. Okay, I don't understand. Are you her well, sister? Sort of a long story, but if you need any proof, I could definitely get you some documents. No, I think I need to speak to the school. What What was your name again? Okay, she's acting like a Karen now. I know it's a weird situation. After I just called you a sweet teacher. It definitely concerns me how young you are. You know what, you know what should concern you? Why are you so bothered by it? Why are you so bothered? The only thing that used to be bothered by if like she showed up drunk as hell out of her mind, then you should be like, yeah, I should talk to the school because I don't think Emmy is going home to a good, you know, household. But Emmy seems like she likes her legal guard. I don't know if that's her sister or whatnot. I'm just going to call her. I don't know who it is. But the, the kid seems like she rocked with her legal guardian. She seems like she, you know, she's doing the best that she could. So she's not a team mom. She's just a legal guardian. So Karen, why are you so bothered? She showed up. She's down to sign the permission slip. Why are you invading their personal space, their personal life like this? I swear to God, Karens really do think the world revolves around them. And if you don't agree with them, you're 100% in the wrong and you need to be put to death for it. That's how Karens operate. There is no sort of compromise in their brain. Even when they halfway know that they're wrong, like during an argument, they realize they're wrong. They won't admit it. They'll just <laughs> scream, cry, call the police. Or, or just say racist. <laughs> I hate Karen so much, man. Especially given the fact that you couldn't pick up Emmy on time. I don't think you're fit to be her guardian. I don't think you fit to be in my business. Young, my age fit as in you can't handle these business. hands because I will bob your stupid ass. And I think I do a pretty good job considering everything. Yeah, she seemed like she rocking with her. Yeah, Quinn's the best. But who is Quinn though? I'll be watching you, Quinn. Are you just a friend to her? Are you the mm -hmm. sister? Are you a cousin? Are you a family friend, you know? Cause that kind of matters. If you're, if you're just a random girl who wanted to adopt a, a kid. The bus will be here in about 15 minutes. I don't know if I trust you. I think so. Uh, where's your lunch, Emmy? Uh, Ooh, Quinn. I was Quinn just- didn't give you anything to eat? I was just defending no, you, Quinn. she's gonna drop it off soon. I think. I was just defending you, Quinn. Ah, oh, I was just defending you, Quinn. You letting your, this girl go hungry? I was just defending you, Quinn. She didn't even bring poor Emmy. She, maybe she forgot. Rashad's okay, place, thank you for that subscription. Every parent here has made sure their child has something to eat. So irresponsible. I'm sure it wasn't on purpose. 
You confirmed with the school that Quinn is her legal guardian, right? Yes, but I swear that girl, that girl is not capable of being a Oh, legal there guardian. she is. There's Quinn. I'm going to go speak to the principal once we're done with the field. You know, she was just a little late, Would but she like came. Please tell me you got chicken nuggets. Oh, of course. Friend. She got her oh, McDonald's. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Quinn, you're the best. Yes, it is. Nah, kids love chicken nuggets, though. Quinn. She got something to say. That's what you bought her to eat? It is so unhealthy. Oh my gosh. She doesn't eat like this every day. Okay. Do you even feed her every day? Of course I do. <laughs> what kind of question is that? Okay, Quinn. Oh what my gosh, man. I don't think that's any of your business. Great way to dodge a question. I can't even believe you would suggest that I would starve Emmy. You know what? You don't fool me. I was 21 once. You probably didn't make her lunch because you were out partying all night. Just because you were a thotty busting her ch <laughs> Okay. Bro, she thinks just because when she was 21 and she was out partying, getting her cheeks clapped every weekend, that that's how all 21 year olds are. Which is true. <laughs> Which I thought I was gonna say. Nah, I'm kidding. There definitely are a lot of 21 year olds who aren't acting like that. It's just, man, everybody, let me not say everybody, a lot of people go through the phase. And it usually does happen when you're around 21. Because in America, that's the legal drinking age. For everybody who doesn't live in America, we have to wait until we're 21 to drink. So it kind of like coincides with college, drinking, partying. So like, come on. <laughs> it, it's hard to be a good person when you have all those piling up on top of each other. Actually, I have a full-time job and I'm a full-time student. So Damn. No, I wasn't partying. No wonder she's busy Tell all the time. What? I will take care of Emmy today. I will buy her lunch so she doesn't have to eat that garbage. She probably wants the, 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 the McNuggets more than whatever the hell you're going to buy her. Uh, sure. What are you going to do to Thanks. it? Can you get them ready, please? Sure. Don't do it. All right, kids, gather in. No, don't. Why would you do that? She asked for that. I am going to go buy her some real food. Like a responsible parent would do. Karen would have got slapped. Day, Quinn. Karen would have got slapped right that. there I in there, man. Good day. Quinn. Oh my gosh. She threw away the McNuggies in the barbecue All sauce. Alright, everybody, let's go. We don't want to keep the bus waiting. Oh, you would have got slapped right there and then, Karen. You threw away the food that I spent my money on? My money? Oh no. Oh no, Quinn, you're Quinn, too nice. Here you go. Oh, do you need any help with that? Yeah, just right. I would have got a bottle of Nair and just squirted oh. it on her head. That sounded dirty. <laughs> Hi. And she called CPS on I'm her. I'm looking for Ms. Oh. Myers. Y'all know how much I like her. It's me. I'm Julie. Y'all know how much I like her. <laughs> She's my favorite. <laughs> I'm going to meet her one day. I'm going to give her a big hug. That's it. Just a hug. You know, I'm going to be very uh, professional, respectful about it. But I like her. I like her a lot. <laughs> I'm a caseworker with CPS. Yes, you are. Okay, okay, okay. Child Protective Services? Um, are you sure you have the right house? You're Miss Quinn Myers, right? It's yeah, Miss um, Harla Quinn Myers? I'm just confused why you're here. I'm just here for a brief home visit. Is it all right if I come in? Yeah, sorry, did, did someone I'll, call you? I'll be very professional. Come on, guys. I, just, I don't understand. Kingston, thanks for that dollar we donation. Received a complaint. So I just need to do a routine inspection. You can expect. Complain. Okay. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to disclose that information. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know who it was. So they can't tell you who snitched on you? Yeah, you can come on. You'll out. probably get revenge on them. That's true. Homework. Thank you. You can come to my apartment anytime. <laughs> oh my Child gosh. Child Protective Services? Seriously? Excuse me. You cannot just barge in here like that. But you want to barge into my life like that. You see how they never take accountability? People like this. And this is, this is not just Karen. This is for literally anybody who can't take accountability. They are never wrong. You're always wrong. Uh... I, I have, if you can't tell, I have a bad experience with people who can't take accountability. I love taking accountability. I love knowing, let me not say I love. I love uh, being the bigger person, if that makes sense. Because the way I look at it, I live a very blessed life. I have YouTube, I have y'all, my parents are alive, healthy, 
I'm tall. <laughs> ah, but seriously, I live a very blessed life. So if you need me to be the villain in your story, I'll happily be the villain in your story. If that makes you feel better, if that lets you get up in the morning, I'll happily be the villain in your story. Because I know I live a very blessed, happy life. And if it'll even bring you the slightest bit of happiness to actually think that I'm a douchebag, I'm a dick, I'm a villain, I'll, let, I'll, I'll be that for you. Because I would want you to feel just a little bit more happier. That's how I operate. So whenever I'm in an argument with somebody, like, as soon as I realize that they're not going to take accountability, I just say, you know what, I'm wrong. I give them their little happiness. I give them the pleasure. And I just don't really talk to them ever again. That's it. That's all you got to do. You don't, you won't win an argument with these kind of people. Way too much on my plate. I don't need you adding more stress. You know what, Quinn? Xavier said, bro, Prince, it's stop simping. It's not my fault that Relax. you're an unfit mother and you can't take care of Emmy. I am just looking out for her. Then you shouldn't be trying to take her away from someone that loves her. I am the only person who can take care of her. Look, a lot of children go through the system and they turn out just fine. Emmy needs a responsible adult in and they her turn life out just fine, to she take says. care of her. Give me examples. Not a child who can't even pick her up on time. That happened one time. That's it. And I already told you what happened. Yeah, always an excuse. Damn woman, do you like have kids? couldn't bring her a proper lunch. Do you she have kids? Is that lunch? why you're bugging? That's what she likes. And I'm so Quinn, you know what? If you're such a great mother, then you have nothing to worry about. Personally, I'd rather take CPS's word for it. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. She yeah, is unbelievable, bro. Oh, <laughs> you didn't even say that. Come on. Come on, Quinn. Do you have any idea what Emmy's been through? Or how I even became her legal guardian? No, I don't. Oh, please inform her. So no, you sorry. see. Come on, Darman. You see. <laughs> Emmy and I grew up together living with our dad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My mom passed away when I was little, and Emmy's mom abandoned her. This dad looked like he boosts cars for a living. <laughs> dad chose more love than we could ever ask for. You know he know how to hotwire. He worked so hard to make sure we both had everything we needed. Shoes on the couch. He, did he could to keep us happy. Oh, what is wrong with you, girl? So much so that he never told us he was sick. He never told y'all he was sick. By the time Emmy and I found out, it was too late. Sorry, but you're- out our dad had late stage cancer. Dad, you're awful for that. You're awful for that. You're not gonna tell he them until it's too late. Want us to worry. Yeah, that's not that's good parenting. That's not good parenting. You tell them so they have time to say goodbye. Passed away. Time to adjust. Emmy and I had no other family to go to. But what do I know? I, I never had a sick parent. Myself. I don't know. But since Emmy was under 18. Okay, makes sense. She was taken away into the system. Ah, makes sense. So that is her sister. Losing her was just as hard as losing my father. So Quinn is over here raising her sister at a young age. Dad, Can you believe I that? Everything I could to get Emmy back. Oh my gosh, who is this person saying Big Daddy Prince? Make that happen. Big time outs. What's my wrong age? with you? Do you not have a father in your life? Calling another grown man Big Daddy Prince repeatedly. What's wrong with some of y'all, man? See how responsible I was? The judge decided to say yes. I like that, Picasso. I like that judge. I'll never forget the day I got her back. Why is she walking like a bad bitch? Y'all see this the girl on the left? Look at her. She thinks she's on America's Next back. Top Model. She said, I got a chance in a dark man video and I won't let her go to waste. <laughs> One more time. So you want to be on top? The day I promised her that no matter what, I would always be by her side. <laughs> We've been together ever since. <laughs> so you see, I'm all she has. Ah! I, I know they're still adjusting to the situation, but there is no one she should be with besides me. Please just don't take her away from me. Do you I feel different now, Karen? For Emmy's sake, please. Did her words reach her, your heart? Look. Your ice cold heart, it did it! If what you're saying is true. Okay, maybe it did. And I'm really sorry that you've been through that. 
I really am. She's gonna say, but. But just because yeah. you want to take care of Emmy, doesn't mean you're able to. All right, now it's time to judo flip, kick her in the nose. Wait for CPS's findings. Hit her, hit her with a, uh, <laughs> I can't even think of it right now. Hello, Mrs. Thompson? Yeah. Hi, how'd it go? I'm still conducting my investigation, but after my initial inspection, I feel like Quinn is doing an incredible job taking care of Emmy. Really? Yes, really, damn! I'm very impressed, especially considering her age. But if anything changes, I'll let you know. Otherwise, I think her case will be closed pretty soon. Like, you really okay. want this girl Emmy to be in foster care? Mm -hmm. You really think that's gonna be better? What? You think I should paint your nails? Yes, please. You do so. Oh, I'll open their I'll open their business. You Oh my gosh. I'll open the business. Don't don't tell me this is the, the teacher again. Hi. Go home! Ms. Thompson. What are you doing here? I hope you don't mind me coming over like this. Oh, I do. I got your address from the school. She does not stop invading privacy. I came over because I wanted to tell you how sorry I am. For judging you. I'm not. Wow. <sighs> Wasn't expecting that. Man, I don't CBS be accepting apologies like this, bruh. Investigation and everything that you said. She is said I got true. your address from school. Emmy really is lucky to have you. All right, Thank bounce so now. Much. Get I to really step in. Appreciate you coming all the way out here. Kick I rocks. Really did not to do that. Oh, and also. Oh no! Don't give me nothing. I don't want anything. You'll... I wanted to drop off this. It's going straight in the trash can. Chicken nuggets, French fries, and barbecue sauce. Enough for the both of you. Thank you. You know, I was cooking dinner, but I think Emmy's gonna eat this. I'll take this. And also, we're having a field trip next week. Oh yeah, I can help you sign that. No. What I was going if to you really want to apologize, you. pay my rent. Would you like to join us? <laughs> then I'll forgive you. It would be a lot more fun having you there. It'll be a fun. It'll be fun with having you pay my rent. Kids. The hell? What am I gonna do with chicken yeah, nuggets? Too. Thank you. You call CPS on me. You call awesome CPS see. on me. You guys have a good night. Thank you. You call <laughs> CPS on me. You better pay some bills before I even think about accepting your apology. Really? Come Girls love chicken nuggets, bro. I swear to God. <laughs> I don't need to swear to God. I apologize. Hunter and share the same dad who passed away in 2020. Grizzly mom passed away in 2020. Grizzly was going to be a send up. <gasps> okay, I thought this was like the actual actress. Her 21 has turned time to take. She's learned that we probably found a way to adopt her younger assembly. Hunter had a girl up very fast and somebody gets judged by her. So, such a young mom without people even know what happened. Man. Hunter and Grace is probably a story of management. If you want to support their assembly, get a description. Oh, so inspirational! <laughs> Where's your mom? I was done. So that was it. Teacher kicks out mom at school. What an amazing inspirational story. But yeah, pay my bills, honey, or um, yeah, get to stepping, cause what am I gonna do with chicken nuggets? <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Nike Jackson, thank you for that donation. Can you react to the SML school skits? And meme guy, thank you for that donation. Carrie needs to get a life. Yeah, she needs to get a life. She needs to find a husband. She needs to do something with her life. She needs, she needs to be occupied. She needs to stay busy with something that isn't my business. You know? Over here intruding, knocking on my door. Like, back up. But yeah, thank you to everybody who came out to this live stream. We're going to be ending it there. Thank you to everybody who donated, who subscribed. Very funny videos. Very funny time. If you like this video... Hit a like, share it, subscribe, all that good stuff. It lets me know that y'all are interested in stuff like this, and it makes me want to make more. But the next live stream we probably uh, we do is probably gonna be a gaming video. I thought I'll alternate. I could do like you know Darman, aka live reactions, and then do a game. So I want to do at least uh, one gaming live stream and one live reaction live stream, at least one of each every week. You know, results may vary. <laughs> Thank you to everybody who came out. I had a lot of fun with y'all. Y'all are very excited. I'm very blessed to have y'all in my life. Man, can't wait till I uh, come see y'all again. Because I'm telling y'all, when I was in Paris for that week, I missed y'all so much. I missed y'all so much. French people don't believe in AC. Can y'all believe that? 
They just be smoking cigarettes and sweating. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye.